Okay, welcome everyone to this session of um, Oracle EBS sessions for Oracle Forum Live. Hello everyone, I am Mike Jones, the Education Manager with the Oracle Applications and Technologies User Group. I'd like to welcome everyone to this forum session live titled OETUG Forum Live Preview, Oracle's EBS Sessions. OETUG Forum Live is the OETUG event focused on Oracle EBS and cloud. If you're considering upgrading your EBS, your EBS, this is a can't miss event. Before we dive into this session, I have a couple quick reminders about the webinar format. You'll be unmuted throughout the presentation. However, if you'd like to, um, if, please feel free to send your questions, comments, reactions at any time through Zoom chat. You're welcome to use the chat to engage with the topic and connect with one another. We're recording the session. The recording will be posted later in the OATUG community library. Next, I'd like to introduce you to our presenter for the session. She is a great supporter of the OATUG. Um, she's fantastic. Her name's Nadia uh, Benjadu. She's the Vice President of Production Strategy for Oracle EBS. Thank you so much for joining the session. Take it away, Nadia. Thank you very much, Mike. First of all, I would like to thank the OATUG for hosting <coughs> giving us the opportunity to speak to our customers for hosting this event. I know it has been a, a tough year for all of us, so really thanks for the OATUG to make sure we do speak to customers and deliver uh, the latest and the greatest on the EBS product. So today what I'm going to do is really give you a, a preview on what EBS content is going to be at the conference next week. Um, with the, some sort of detail of what to expect from the conference. So first of all, without, uh, without the, a doubt, uh, this is very, very much sponsored and supported by the EBS organization uh, from the very top uh, level by Cliff Godwin, who will be presenting on Monday. Uh, at, set, at 11 o'clock, Monday, the 7th of December. He would usual, he would be talking about the EBS uh, strategy, where we are, where we are going. And if you know Cliff, you know how much material and how much content he will be delivering as usual in all the conferences that Cliff delivers. But Cliff is not going to be uh, alone. Cliff is going to be with lots of people from his organization. In fact, you will see our team uh, from representing a different area of the EBS product portfolio, from financial, from manufacturing, from a supply chain, from the ERP uh, project procurement, as well as the uh, uh, application technology, which you probably know a lot of people already on this screen here. And uh, of course, we have also the team that will be delivering content on the enterprise command centers. So you see, this is Cliff and his executive team will be there all supporting our customers uh, next week through a, a very, very rich uh, conference with the very rich uh, content from an EBS development organization. So that's basically the team who will be there. Now, the team will be delivering a number of content with number of assets. We have about, I think it's the 30 development session EBS development sessions in total. We also have something we call Meet the Expert. We have uh, seven Meet the Expert, again, delivered by EBS Development Organization. And we have something called Open Camp. We have five Open Camp. This is a new, totally new This uh, uh, at this event. We have never done this before in any uh, user group conference. And I'm sure you will be pleased to hear uh, this is coming uh, next week. So the open cab is something that uh, we usually uh, limit to cab members. Open cab is for stands for uh, the customer advisory board, which is usually a invitation only uh, for members only. But we are opening it for any uh, uh, attendees of the OATUG forum live. So you can subscribe to a particular cab and you will be uh, dealing with the development and strategy and PM directly. So overall, this is basically what our team is going to be delivering next week. 30 sessions, seven MTE, meet the expert, and five open cab. Of course, you will be able to find all this information on the OATG forum live. 
Now, we, if we look at the how we partition all the content, the 30 session and MT, etc., you will see uh, the we have about 24% session are across the suite, like Cliff's uh, uh, session, like planning your upgrade, it's across the suite, like what's new in 12.2, it's across suite. Uh, some of the things like uh, my, one of my session I deliver about the EBS and the coexistence with cloud application that's a, a cross EBS suite. We talk about uh, ECC, it's across EBS suite. So there are about 24% of our coverage is actually cross suite. We also have 30% uh, of sessions that are very, very specific to the application technology. Application technology is basically the foundation, the platform uh, that underpins the EBS as a product. So uh, this is really where we have a lot of content as well. Uh, we have 23% of ERP sessions. So that covers e-business uh, e suite financials, procurement and projects. Uh, same equivalent, equal, uh, to the supply chain, we have 23% of our session dedicated to supply chain. Supply chain usually in, uh, talks about order management, uh, talk about logistic, inventory, uh, shipping, um, manufacturing, enterprise asset management, uh, field service, and so on. So that's basically the supply chain. So this is basically the breakdown of our sessions uh, that we are delivering next week. Let's go a little bit more detail. Of course, I'm not going to be able to talk about the 30 sessions that we are delivering next week, but definitely the 15, half of them, the 15 top sessions that are going to be delivered next week that cannot be missed are basically some of them, six sessions in the cross suite and the application technology, things like Cliff Godwin's presentation, uh, the ECC presentation, the 12 of two, what's new in 12 of two presentation, planning your upgrade is obviously fundamental in this conference, talking about how you can uh, leverage the OCI for e-business suite, that's a, a cross uh, suite session. And then we have a three ERP session that absolutely, if you can only attend three sessions on the ERP, then those are the three sessions that are really not to be missed. One on financial, one on advanced procurement, and one on project. Beyond the ERP and the supply chain, there are a number, supply chain is a very massive um, uh, footprint. So if you really want to limit yourself to six sessions, then definitely that's what I'm recommending today. So half a percent, 50% of the uh, uh, 30 sessions that we are, billing, we are delivering next week, our thing is really not to be make, uh, missed. So that was on development session. Now on the MTE, we have seven MTEs. So we have one on the overall technology foundation. We call it the MTE for technology staff. We also have another MTE, more or less in the same family, which is technology related. But this time it's an MTE specific to uh, running e-business suite on Oracle cloud infrastructure. This is something, a journey we have started back in 2016. And four years later, we would like to share with you the latest and the greatest. The, um, the MTE, we have one on upgrade, very topical. Many customers are upgrading to 12.2 today. So it's probably one of the most popular MTE and uh, the sessions upgrade are very popular as well. Another popular topic, especially in over the last two years is the enterprise command centers. Mohaned, uh, who's the VP of the uh, development of the enterprise command center and his team will be there and will be delivering a number of sessions. In addition, they will have a session dedicated for the MMED experts so you can come and ask a question uh, to our development. We have an MTE on order management and logistics that combines uh, the inventory and, and warehouse management as well as order management. We have an MTE that's specific to manufacturing and here we are uh, covering both process manufacturing as well as discrete manufacturing. And finally, an MTE for the overall ERP, where we talk about uh, cover financials, procurement and project. So really a lot of content there. So the idea is the media expert is really come with your question, come with your use case and 
share them with the, our development team and uh, discuss any issues or any challenges or how do I do that and so on. So this is really uh, what the MITI expert is about. And then we have uh, more or less at the, on Thursday, we come back as the executive team, Cliff and his directs. Uh, you will see Lisa uh, representing the platform, the technology platform that underpins EBS. We have Paolo who will be talking about the uh, procurement and project. We will have a ramen who will be focused on uh, manufacturing. Uh, Steve Tonus, the whole, most of the supply chain, in particular order management, logistics, warehouse, enterprise asset management. We have Anne who will be focusing on planning your upgrade. Uh, Mohaned on the uh, bottom right will focus on the ECC and myself across the suite where I will be focusing on a number of things and in particular uh, uh, my, my little thing that I have is about the EBS on OCI. So this executive team will be with Cliff uh, to help answer question you have. I think it's a good timing for Thursday. So we go through the sessions, we go through some of the MTEs, and then we come back with the executive team to answer any outstanding question that you have not received an answer yet. So that's on Thursday. Please don't uh, miss that. Then finally, uh, the last thing that we are doing on Friday, which is the Open Cab, we in fact reserved the whole day the 11th for open cabs. So it, they, they will be running in parallel. So those five cabs, one on ECC, Enterprise Command Center, one on the platform, on-prem as well as the cloud. So we combine those because they are so much related. So any question that related to uh, uh, running EBS on premises or running EBS on OCI, so we are opening this cab for, uh, uh, for members and more importantly for non-members, which was not the case before. So this is the very first time, we, not only the first time we do this in a conference like the user group, but also the first time we open it to non-members. Uh, the another open cab we have is for procurement project and lease accounting. We have an open cab for order management and logistics, and we have an open cab for manufacturing, both discrete and process. Those will be running in parallel the whole morning of the 11th of December. So that's uh, the idea is there. Uh, we do the conference session, you come in with your question to the MTE, and then the cab is really about EBS development and product management and strategy to listen to you. To listen to you in the context of give us your feedback. You have heard us talk about the product. You came and we answered questions about your particular use case through the MTE. And with the cab, the idea is really for you to come with feedback. This is what we are doing. What do you think? Are we in the right track? What else should we be doing? And this is really where what the customer advisory board is all about. Now, what are we going to be talking on the, on, on the conference next week? We are going to talk about the investment we are doing on behalf of EBS customers. This is really where to, uh, the, the investment priorities have never changed. They are always about enhancing the user experience and mobility making it very easy for users to use, very productive, very intuitive. This is the whole area of you, modern user interface and modern user experience. Then we are also going to be uh, talking about the functional innovation. This is really mostly for your uh, business owners. Uh, we talk about the feature function that we are developing from our internal uh, investment priorities, but also the areas where customers have been voting and have been sending their enhancement requests through our social media. So we will be actually talking about some of those enhancement requests uh, that you guys voted on and we have delivered throughout the releases and in particular what we have delivered in 12 to 10 lately. Uh, so this is more on the uh, functional innovation. On the operational efficiency, this is where we talk about the platform, what we have done lately, what we are planning to do, what we have delivered, and uh, especially here we are talking about like the enterprise, uh, the, um, the Oracle eBusiness Suite Cloud Manager, if you are interested in knowing more about how you can deploy, how you can lift and shift your EBS environment to uh, the public cloud, namely OCI. But we also talk about the online patching. We also talk about 
the technolo technology enablement in the EBS uh, if you are running on-premise still. So this is what uh, we will be covering next week. So what are the major topic that we, the focus will be? Uh, we will be focusing on EBS release 12 to 10. What have we done from a user experience? What have we done through functional innovation? And what have we done through a technology? We will be focusing on the latest of Enterprise Command Center, uh, the release that came in September 2020. By the way, the release of the ECC that came in September 2020 came more or less at the same time, actually it came at the same time as EBS release 12 to 10. That is what the focus, release 12 to 10 came in September, ECC September release came in September 2020, and the EBS release cloud manager, the 20 to 1, uh, which is not out yet, but uh, is coming very soon. So again, the conference will be talking really about the latest and the very latest IE 12 to 10, ECC 2020, and even EBS Cloud Manager <coughs> that is 20 to 1 that is not out yet, but we will talk more about it in uh, next week. So that's the focus of the OATUG forum live next week. Hopefully, uh, you will be there. Uh, uh, obviously, if you need to know where all this content, how you reach out to this content, how you actually subscribe, uh, Mike and his team from the OATUG have done an excellent job in creating this page specific to the uh, Oracle session. Uh, so one-stop shop for all EBS content. If you look at the content, it's very nicely uh, organized. Day one and day two mostly is about the conference session, the education session, the 30 session that we were referring to. Uh, uh, no, day number three, where we start in uh, adding the meet the experts, uh, although you will find conference session as well. But overall, uh, day three is really where we start the MTE. Then day four, we continue with some of the deep dive session some of the uh, MTE, but then we also come back with the um, uh, Ask Cliff and his executive session that is, I believe, fundamental. And finally, we finish the conference with the open cab. So I think you see the way we have organized it, and thanks to Mike, he has done a great job uh, how to schedule the session from high level to medium to deep dive to MTE to open cab. And I, I personally like that format. Uh, with that, I believe I came to um, really ready to take questions, uh, if there are any. Uh, Mike, I don't know whether you have received any question on the chat or not, but I am open to take any questions now. Yeah, um, hope, if, if yeah. anyone has any questions, please type it into the chat area at any time. Um, I know the most interesting part of this conference is going to be the open cab, which we've never really done before, Nadia, is, um, can you maybe explain a little bit more what um, what attendees um, should be looking for, uh, which open cab to kind of join if they wanted to join one of them? Yeah, well, it depends on really the role of the attendees. If you are more on the technical, like a DBA and a developer or a system administrator, I would definitely recommend the open cab uh, that is called open care for application EBS on premises and on the cloud. If that is your profile, which is like a DBA system admin and a developer, that is the, the open cap that is more appropriate for you. If you are more on the business user and are really interested in what's, uh, uh, what to expect in order management, what are you guys working on order management, the uh, new, uh, new features that you are have in mind, or if you have, I think the cab, the idea of the cab is that you guys tell us what you need us to focus on. You tell us what features we, wish we should be developing next. You tell us, bring some use cases and business functionality that you are proposing uh, and uh, sharing with our development team, with our uh, product management, as well as our executive to say, we think this is a good idea. Or maybe you have a feedback on our what we have delivered already and say well this really works but it would have been better if you have done it uh, if you add this and that so the open cab is about your feedback to us and what you would like us to do in the next releases of EBS so if you are more on the order management uh, 
uh, and logistic or inventory more like a the supply chain, then I would definitely recommend the uh, supply chain, the order management and logistic cab. If you are more on the manufacturing product uh, uh, company and you are producing com uh, products or you are manufacturing the product, whether you are in process or discrete, I will definitely recommend you, you join the, the manufacturing cab. And the manufacturing team are going to uh, basically have a, uh, one part of the cab that is focused on a, a, a process manufacturing and another uh, uh, and part two, or part which I don't know which one will be first, is to focus on uh, discrete manufacturing. On the ERP, uh, if you are running, uh, if you are running a procurement or project or some of the accounting uh, regulation, then definitely the ERP uh, cab would be more appropriate for you. So it's really, I believe, we have five cabs is not a lot, but it really uh, is covering most of our functional footprint where most our customers are, uh, are using the products. So that's really what to expect from the open cab. Please bring your ideas, bring your ideas and bring your feedback. Remember, you throughout the week, you will, li you will be listening to us in the conference education session. So you are listening to our speakers, you have understood what we have been, what's new in the latest of eBusiness Suite. Then you meet us at the Meet the Expert where you are bringing your use case, your challenges and uh, expose it that to us and we can help you with the, uh, some guidelines. But the, co the open cab is really about you helping us shape the next release of the product. And that is really what's the difference between an MTE and the cab. The cab is you tell us. So we'll be listening and you speak to us, hopefully. Perfect. Now, can you explain a little bit more um, what the difference between like a meet the experts is going to be as opposed to like an open cab? Okay, the meet the expert, the meet the expert will have, uh, so let's say we, uh, let's take an example of the meet the expert of the, uh, the uh, EBS running on the cloud on OCI. So the idea is we will have, have a moderator and, and the same with every, with all the other MT, you will have a moderator. The moderator will introduce a topic and more or less create scope. So we don't go in all direction. We make sure we, uh, we actually uh, have a, a particular list of a finite list of topics. So the, the moderator will explain the scope and will put some, almost like a summary. That's what, at least that's what I recommended my team. Uh, have a, a summary slide that says, you know, throughout the week, this is what we covered. We covered X, Y, Z. Now, please tell us what's uh, any open question. Do you have any question for us about what we have delivered in the uh, conference session? Uh, maybe bring your own use case. You have your own use case. I have, uh, let's say I am running uh, EBS 1213 and uh, I'd like to upgrade to 1202, which latest release of the 1202 should I go? Should I go to 10 or 12210? Should I go 1229? Like, you know, people want to always say, see the N minus one upgrade. So they are, you know, you, you bring your use case to us and we will help you make a decision or at least we help you uh, move forward. The cab is the opposite. The cab is, you know what we are doing, tell us what else we should be doing. That is really what, the main difference. I love all those different types of session. I think they really uh, kind of help enhance, uh, especially the virtual learning since they are so different. So thank you for doing that, Adia. Again, there is also, uh, Mike, uh, sorry, I, I, I interrupt you there. There is also one, one session we call it deep dive. And that session is, uh, if we were face-to-face -face in a, a regular conference, we would have done it hands-on lab. Uh, but we, we are not face-to-face -face and having a hands-on lab online is very challenging and it's almost impossible. So we have actually converted one of the hands-on lab that we would have liked to do base to base into what we call a deep dive. And a deep dive is actually, we have only one, which is EBS on OCI. 
So for those who are familiar, we were, we were, we did run hands-on lab at the last OATUG um, conference uh, two years ago, uh, where people actually come and bring their laptop and do the hands-on lab for doing a lift and shift with the cloud manager, etc. So I asked the, um, our team member to do more or less that, but not in a hands-on lab. And it's like instructor-led training. It's almost like an instructor-led training. So the instructor will be delivering the content and you are going to be uh, listening and looking how he does the uh, lift and shift and so on. So that's why we call it a deep dive, not a hands-on lab. So that's one thing I didn't mention earlier. Thanks. Thank you, Mike. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, um, I think this is going to, I'm really looking forward to this event. Um, in addition to the 50 some odd sessions, Oracle and Nadia and our team are presenting, we, we have about 60 uh, to 70 user sessions that are gonna take place. So um, please hope everyone can join the event. Uh, we are running a Cyber Monday deal. So if you do go to our website and you put in the code uh, Cyber30, you will get 30% off. Again, I want to thank you very much, Nadia, for all your support. And I look forward to, uh, to kind of moderating some of your sessions next week. And right. um, this will conclude uh, the webinar. So thank you very much, Nadia. Thank you very much. And uh, hope to uh, hear uh, many of you next week when we start delivering the sessions themselves. Thank you, Mike, for organizing this. Bye-bye.